the, the six nanuim, each one is three movements, back and forth. That means six times three, I was told, is 18. Four times 18 equals 72. And so the four sets of nanuim done in Hallel correspond to the Shem Ayin base. Hashem's name is spelled Yud Kei Vav Kei, and Yud spelled Yud Vav Dal, and Hey spelled Hey Yud, and Vav spelled Vav Yud Vav, and Hey spelled Hey Yud, in all equals 72. And so there's a rem is to Shem Ayin base. By the way, also Bechein, Bechein Sadikim, Bechein Yismuch, etc. Bechein is also Gematria Ayin base, but that's another discussion. There's also four times Bechein, but well, let's not get into that. So now there's a this discrepancy between a place in the Zohar and elsewhere, whether you shake in halo three times or four times. And the Altarebe in the Siddur, this uh, the last line is quoted on the screen, is if you make the bracha in in Shul just before halo, so you're going to do Hanuim just before halo, you're going to do your six Nanuim, which is 18 times. So then in Hallel, you'll only do Nanuim three times. And by Ono, you'll do only once Ono. Not the twice by Ono, but only by once by Ono. So then you'll have your 72 movements will be 18 before Hallel. And then the other, help me, uh, 18, 72 by minus 54, is it? Yeah. Um, will be in, uh, during Hallel. What if you bench Lulav much earlier? as most of us normally do, because we bench Lulav at home, or well, not home, in the sukkah, before we come to shul. So then it comes to halal, there's a half six, and a halal we make nanuim four times to have the quota of the 72 in halal proper. So now coming back to the question, if you are at home and you ask the question, should you do nanuim? You're having at home because you're, 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 you're self-isolating. So now, what do you do about Nanuim and the Brach? So I'll say like this. If you want to bench Lulav earlier and you're going to, and you want to then learn Chesidus and then you want to prepare for davening and so that you should have Koiches for davening, you want to have a cup of tea and some Mesoinus. So then you're going to do you're going to bench Lulav much earlier. In that case, you'll do Nanuim when you bench Lulav earlier and you do your, your and then then you then you later you'll do four and four sets of nanuim in halo, but if let's say your schedule is that you you're going to bench lulav, uh, so you're, you're not going to uh, you're going to get davening shacharis right away and going to go straight into halo, so there's no need for that uh, benching before. Then you can bench lulav, and you can do it in the sukkah. I mean, your isolation will allow you to go into the sukkah, and you can bench lulav in the sukkah and then go straight into halo. If it's not a half six, so then uh, between the halal, between the brocha before halal and, and a halal, so then you'll do the brocha just before halal as it is printed in the Siddha, that, that's where it's printed. And the now, next question here we have is about a person who's at home. What do you do for Hoshanas? And, you know, at Hoshanas, we normally have a, pr a procession around the bimmer which was as Hashem in the shul will do, and we'll make sure to have healthy distancing. And so there'll be plenty of minyonim and plenty of space as Hashem to, to, to do, um, to do um, hakofas around the bimmer. But a person at home doesn't have a bimmer. Now the bimmer, which we, we, we use, and someone brings us a Torah to the bimmer, and the bimmer is reminding us of the Mizbeach in the Beis HaMikdosh. And in, in Beis HaMikdosh, the people would walk around with the Lulavim or the Hishainas, they would make a procession around the Mizbeach. So just like the Mizbeach, which was 32 Amis square, which is the word Lave, and the Mizbeach is in the center of the Beis HaMikdosh, of the Hazorah. So similarly, the Bime is placed in the center of the Shul, and it's like the Lev in the sense of the Shul, and so we go around the Bime. If you don't have a Bime, because you're at home, so then, here I have a quote from the Sefer um, Piskei Tshuvas, and he's saying, if he, well, he's talking about if there's no Sefer Torah, some say don't do Hakafas, some say you should do around the Bima, and some say if you damn at home, you don't go around the table unless you put a Sefer Tanakh on the table or on a, on a chair. Some say there's no din of Hakafas on your own. Um, yeah. 
what I've seen Munich have had is plenty of people doing hack office on their own. Um, so yeah, Chabad are not ready to be mavata and dropping anything. But the one who says this about putting a safer is the Benish Chai, you see in notes 11 and 12. Um, about preferably putting a safer on the table, and then to, you'd go around, you'd go hakofus around the table. Then someone asks about doing hakofus now about Simchas Torah already. Doing hakofus holding a chumish. We, we, it's a well known the story of the Tzemach Tzedek doing hakofus with a tanya. Obviously, that was in addition to the regular hakofus. Um, but okay, so if, if you don't have to say the Torah, yes, by all means, do hakofas and dance at home and be uh, mamshich simchas, simchas hachag, and the, all the brochas and hamashochas of the hakofas. Just, I, I want to explain something. Where does hakofas come from? The hakofas comes from the story of Yudichoi. And where they went around for seven days and then that brought the, wall, brought the walls of Yerichai down. Then we have the Hakofas, as we said, during Sukkot with the Arba Minim. And then the Hakofas of Simchas Torah has no mention, as you know, Simchas Torah has no mention in Shas. There is a mention in Zoyar about Simchas Torah, but the term Simchas Torah, as in a day of celebration, has no mention in Shas. And the Alter Rebbe Kudat Torah points out to this that this is a meaning which only comes on record in, in the last, I don't know, a thousand years, perhaps. Call upon him. The the Hakofis of Simchas Torah is to say we've been celebrating for the seven days of Sukkot. We've been doing Mamshochis through the Lulav and the Esrik and on Shana Rabu with the Hishainas. And now on Shemini Atzeres, we're going to do a similar kind of celebration with the Sefer Torah to bring, to bring similar Hamshochas. So if you don't have a Hakof, you don't have a Sefer Torah, you don't have a, a, a Bima, and you'll do Hakofas, you can, you can, you'll do whatever you can. And Mashver um, Abba would often quote by the Fabrengans, the vote of the Freydi Kareb, but the Hakofa can also mean taking on credit. Hakofa Sachanus. And so, Every one of us needs to have to get a supply of brochas for the coming year. So if you don't manage to get to shul, you'll do hakafes and with simcha and uh, and be mamshich all the brochas for the coming year.